Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of a video on um, how to set the length of stroke and the position of the head on this elbow. There's, I've, I've seen them out there for um, other machines, but um, never ad addressing this particular model. And I think I have a nice way of doing it, but maybe someone can come up, come up with a better way. So I've already checked this piece of work here. I need a stroke length. Of about two and a half inches. The scale on here is zero to ten inches at this end, zero here. At the moment um, I've run this forward and as you can see it's set for roughly six inches. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I go about getting this um, stroke length on this model set quickly and I think pretty accurately. So the key to it is to actually get the, the length of stroke to the max. So the needle is at its max length and down here on the ball gear the slot that this little wee pinion piece runs in is horizontal. So that's kind of important. Then what we do is we're going to loosen it off just, a little, just enough so it can move easily. So we'll just untighten that with, hopefully. Oh god, come on. Here we go. So I just locked the clutch then so it would um, have a bit of resistance. So I'm going to take that off. So this is just slightly loose. So the idea here is with the top tight, so the top piece which is what the needle is on, I should be able to just slide this back and it slides on this slot here. So I can slide it until the needle is bang on around the two and a half inches I want then I can just go about with whatever is the easiest way of getting in there I think it's going to be this spanner or wrench or whatever the jolly thing's called and we just give it a lock it up again a tighten, you don't want to over tighten this I don't think and now if I check this my length of stroke is a nice two and a half inches. So the next piece we want to do is we obviously want to have the tool bit at the end of the stroke slightly past the piece, the, um, piece of work. So we go to the top, loosen this off just enough so that we can slide the ram forward till it just looks about right about there. So we Cinch, cinch things back up again, just to, and then we run by hand back. Yep, it's stopping just before the work and finishing just after the work, and it's really that simple. So now I power up the machine, start her up. And I'll just close that because I don't want fingers in the way of belts, it would be bad. And if we put the ram on, there you go, perfect. And it really is that simple um, to set up on these wee machines. Okay, so We've got the stroke all set up. I've got a piece of work in here. It's all a bit of a hacked up vice situation because I haven't got a good vice yet. I'm still trying to decide whether I make, make one. I've got 25 and 38 mil steel plate about or whether I just buy one and be done with it. We'll sort it out eventually but for the purposes of these hack, hack tests this will do. piece of steel in here um, about two inches long-ish. Um, and I've just put some bluing, um, actually it's just a big marker on there to make it easy to see. I'm um, setting a depth of cut for this of about, um, we'll go for 10 thou for a giggle and see how it goes. Um, and I've got maximum step over, so this is what you would call a, I guess a roughing cut. So we'll get the motor spun up. And we'll 
put a bit of cutting oil on this hopefully we'll get a reasonably good picture of some cuts on this wood thing. so the length of cuts looking good uh, maximum step over 10 foul depth of cut okay well, I guess we've just got to let it rip and see what happens Step over is happening. There we go. Oh, we're getting some purely chips. Oh yeah, it's working. Those curls are coming off nicely. working well at the moment. I'll probably go even more aggressive but I won't. I'm still learning. I'll let that finish. It's moving at a good pace. And it's done already. I'll just stop that and I'll use the clutch to just get a little bit back. Right. Move that back across. You can probably see that there are some reasonably obvious lines there, which is what you'd expect. It was a pretty big step over. So what we're going to do for the second cut is I'm going to go to the other end of the scale. We're going to do this finishing cut. I'm going to take a tooth hour depth of cut and I'm going to wind the um, wind the depth of the step over right back to about as small as it can do which will be, should be done. And a single should be a single click. I think that's going to work. Right. Cool. Let's uh, start the ram again. Should be that. Locked up properly. Yep. Let's start it up again. One or two clicks and I've got this right. Yep, it's, a bit, it's going a bit, a bit further than I really want for this. Just a little bit less. Just push up there. Start that up again. Single cut, single click, so it's going to be a really fine step over. You can see it cutting, it's a very, very smooth cut. This will take a while, so I think when I in post processor we might speed this up for a little bit so no one falls asleep.
think we're, yeah, we're done. We're not cutting anymore. So I'll just uh, bring that back into into bit of view. look at this that's pretty smooth I mean you could do better with a share tool tool I'm sure you could but for what that is that feels pretty jolly good for a first attempt hell it's a lot it's a lot better than what I can get on my big mill that's for sure unless I'm using carbide yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that.